All right, guys, you ready? Coach is going to open up with a few comments, and we'll go to some questions. All right. Um, well, first of all, uh, I'd say I'd, I'm happy we won. And uh, I can remember vividly in here a year ago, not in this exact stadium, but in that situation, and two years ago, and us not winning that game that went that way. And so um, I think it speaks a lot to this team's resiliency, this team's kind of mental toughness, um, their, their, their ability to finish in the fourth quarter, I thought showed up tonight. Okay, so I'm really happy about that. I'm happy to know when I wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to be six and one and not five and two. So that, that's the first part, okay? The second part, I think, holds true to what I said about the way we practiced and prepared. I thought we had a great week of practice. I thought we had a great week of preparation. And I thought we came out and played that way at the start of the football game to, to jump ahead 21 to nothing. The lesson learned here is we got to have a killer instinct. And you know, people aren't going aren't gonna to lay down against us. And they're going to continue to fight. And um, we, we relaxed. We, we, we didn't execute the way we had. We didn't execute and poor call on the fake field goal. Uh, they, they, they got some momentum from that. Uh, and in turn, we end up in a dogfight 21 all. Um, we had some guys get, get, get nicked up. And some other guys had to step in and play. Uh, and the game came down to two possessions, and we found a way to punch it in on ours, and we found a way to get a fourth down stop on defense. Uh, so th that was a real positive. A couple guys to highlight: uh, Ryan Sanborn had a heck of a game. What was a couple big time punts for us there? Keelan uh, with a couple big time returns to set up scores, uh, and then Savion Red uh, with a couple of those critical runs on fourth down to uh, to extend drives, and then obviously the touchdown run down there in the low red. And Jonathan Brooks continues to, to play the way he's playing. So there's some definite some positives that come out of this game. Uh, happy to, to have won the ball game. Not going to apologize for that. Uh, but lesson learned of, of what we need to do moving forward and, and how we can play better football uh, for four quarters. So that, that's going to be needed as we continue to go on this journey together. Coach, how's Clinton? Uh, he's got a, got a hurt shoulder. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow on kind of the extent of it. Um, you know, he tried to play through it. We didn't feel comfortable enough with, with his ability to continue to play, and, and that's when Malik went in the game. Steve, entering the week, you talked about the two-minute defense, kind of the need to kind of work on that a little bit. How did you feel they fared today? Well, we didn't really have so much of a two-minute scenario like that. That last drive right there, I think they got the ball with almost six minutes or five and change or something. I don't know exactly what that last drive was. And you could really feel like Houston was playing, like that was going to be the trying to make that the last possession of the game. Uh, I was obviously I'd used one timeout when I was ready to use more if I needed to to try to ensure we'd have some time coming back. Um, so I, you know I'd have to I have to see kind of what it looked like at the end of the first half, but um, it, it wasn't so much two minute defense I guess that, not to not answer your question. So you have serious concerns about Clint's health? Um, you know, if the guy couldn't finish the game, that na naturally is what is that going to look like moving forward? Um, you know, I, I think the, the one thing about this team um, and the way we practice, um, the, the team's got a lot of confidence in Malik and really Arch, it, it, you know, because I know how well those guys competed. Um, and so in the end, I'm hopeful Quinn can continue to go and we'll find out what the extent of that is. But I also know we've got two quality players at that position that that they've got a great supporting cast around them with a good old line, good runners, good receivers. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll devise a plan, whoever that quarterback is, hopefully to, to have success in the next ball game. Sorry, can you take us through um, John A's usage? I know you didn't play much in the first half. Yeah. The second half. So, you know, the, the you know, John A got kind of cleared late in the week. Um, and Gilbo had been practicing, and he really had his best week, best couple weeks, and we, we started him there. Um, but as the game got going and we started to get nicked up and we, we got a couple corners got banged up and different things, we felt like we had to start to roll some more guys. They were possessing the ball and Jade was able to go and then when he got out there, he played well. Um, so that, that encouraged us to kind of keep him out there and keep him going. So um, again, we had a few guys that were in that situation today and some of them went early. Some of them like Jade got to go in. Some guys we held completely today. Um, but that's that's the nature. When you're seven weeks into the season, nobody's healthy, right? No team's walking out of the locker room 100% healthy, and everybody's fighting through injuries. And 
that's where your depth has to has to kick in. But we we're fortunate we got out of Jade what we were able to there in the second half. Where were you able to get out of here with a win as opposed to the previous? Well, I, I, th I think there's a resiliency of this group. I think there's a togetherness of this group. I think there's a fight on this team that is real. It's genuine. Um, you know, to get that ball on the last drive where, where they had tied it up and to, to get the kickoff return, a, a great block by Savion Red to spring Keelan and, and a great run by Keelan, and then to line up and run the football the way that we did and, you know, cap it off with, with Sed's run. And then when they'd hit a couple passes to get down there, you know, what I loved was our ability to tackle right even when a, maybe a year or two ago we would be fatigued because of the lack of depth we were still able to tackle well uh and then we were still able to cover tight enough to where we could force you know tight throws um and in the end way we found a way to win and i, I think you know we're not there yet but championship teams find a way to win games that are ugly and we found a way to win an ugly game today with jalen fords forcing that fumble and then michael taft's pick that was big. That was exactly what you're talking about. Big, big. Like to you know, two turnovers today defensively were, were huge for us. You know, um, you know, one obviously you get a pick in the end zone that that negates points and you get possession. Um, and then finally we, we forced a fumble, which was great to see. And we've been harping on it so much. Um, so that that was a you know really positive play. And we were close on that big punt, big time punt by Sanborn. Great coverage there by um, by Keaton Crawford, and uh, you know had a chance to, to get that one there. So the ball was loose today. We were around it more um, than, than we've been in the in the previous couple weeks, and that's what it's going to take. We've got to keep finding a way to create these turnovers. What was the thought process behind that big field goal? It, oh. That it was going to work. What change? Well, it was just, you know, you game plan and you go in with the plan and they had a really good rush unit and they had an excellent guy coming off the edge blocking the kick. He didn't rush, you know, you got to ask Dana why they didn't rush him. You know, we hadn't, we haven't faked a field goal in three years. So, uh, but he didn't rush and uh, they played the play and, you know, Burt makes the first guy miss, but, but at that point it's a, uh, it's just kind of a, a dead, dead play. So, you know, that's, that's part of, that's part of coaching. You know, we, we can play a, a brand of football that's that's ultra conservative, um, but that's kind of not who this team is. We're we're an attack oriented team, and our players thrive in that, and they believe in those, and they believe in those calls. And um, if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't have called it, you know. <laughs> but that's hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, I don't get to play Monday morning quarterback. You know, I got to make those calls in about ten seconds. And we, we knew going into the game, we had liked that call in that situation. This time it didn't work. Sark, you mentioned the killer instinct part. You guys have been able to finish games pretty well this year. And then tonight you guys started probably about as good as you have. So yes. how do you put those two things together? I mean, I think that's the challenge. And that's what we talked about in the locker room. And that, uh, you know, I, I praised them for their preparation. You know, they really d were dialed in this week in practice. And and it showed the start of the game. And we were we were really on point. I, I think at the end, that, that killer instinct has got to be there for us because teams aren't going to go away. We're, we're, these teams are too good. We're going to get all their best shots. We're going to get everybody's best stuff. Um, and in the end, you know, how do we continue to play with that mental intensity, um, that focus, that energy? That, that w that's when we're at our best, when we're energized and, and, and we're playing together and we're feeding off of one another. We're playing really good complimentary football. Um, so it's all phases got to come together and continue to play the style and brand of football that we're capable of playing. And, and, and we lost. We got a little out of sorts there. And, and part of it was the fake field goal. I'll be honest with you. It was 21 to 7. We had gotten the ball. We had driven down into the into the kind of high red. We get stopped. You know, we kick that field. Maybe it's 24 to 7. It's different. I don't know. You know, again, we can play that game all day long. Um, but you know, that's not the way this game went. And in turn, we had to find a way to win. And I'm as pleased about that as anything because those, these games on the road, um, these are character building games. And that's something that uh, I definitely want to hold on to on that front. What did it say about, what did it say about your defense to, to give up the touchdown to Oklahoma, but then to come back on a final drive this time and, and get the stuff? Yeah, it was huge. It was, it was, it was huge for him, you know, and a, a tremendous play by Michael Taff on the third down play. Um, you know, knocking that ball loose, and then, and then, you know, again the sprint out there at the end, and and trying to get into the quarterback's face and forcing an errant throw. But those are confidence-building drives. You know, that you have to have belief when you play this game, and and belief is a really powerful thing. When you believe you're going to stop people, you find a way to stop them because 
it's not always about what I do. It's about what the next guy and the next guy and the next guy is doing and everybody working together. So hopefully we can, you know, we can take that drive right there and that stop and, and continue to build on that. Coach, two oh, last ones. You said uh, earlier this week, you said knock on wood, you might need one of your backup quarterbacks to come and finish. <laughs> I didn't mean this week. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with Malik being thrown in, um, you know, what, what kind of usage were you able to get out of him? What did you think him? Well, I, you know, I, I thought Malik showed great poise and composure. Um, you know, again, you know, Houston did a nice job, and they, they played an absolutely different defense than they had shown all year long. And so we had to make a lot of adjustments throughout the game and all the way into that last drive. Um, you know, I, I think he would love to have hit that third down to, to AD uh, to extend that, but he threw it with great conviction, and that was a real positive with Malik. You know, he's got a lot of belief in himself, and he understands our system. And so um, if, it's, if it's him this week, I know he'll prepare really well, and, and he'll get the majority of those reps that way, and I think he'll play good football. And I think Arch will be ready. You know, both those guys, I said that a week ago, they have really put in a lot of work to, to – play good football for us and um, I think ultimately if this situation arises that this is where it goes you know we, we'll have the utmost confidence in them to, to play good football for us. Last one about the secondary you gave up almost 400 yards I know you got injuries. Yeah we were, we were, we're first of all we got to figure out which guys we're going to have back there you know and then and then two you know part of it is the secondary part of it is you know getting the rush um, to where we can affect that quarterback more and force a few more errant throws um, because the running game was pretty much null and void. You know, we did a great job defending the run, um, but, but we've got we to find a way to, to eliminate passing lanes um, and to play tighter coverage and then force some errant throws. You know, if people are going to throw it that much, we've got, we've got to create some interceptions. We've got to create some sacks, some sack fumbles. Hang on, guys. We got to go. Really, just a matter of leverage and adjustment. It just, you know, some of it's man, some of it's zone, and if it's zone, you got to pass those things off. If it's man, you got to, got to stay sticky in coverage. All right, y'all. Thank you.